Today is the final primary in South Carolina for the 2016 presidential race. Last Saturday it was the Republicans and this weekend it is all about the Democrats. Joining us this morning is Brady Cork Garvin. He's the chairman of the Charleston County Democratic Party. We are so happy that you're here with us this morning. Thank you for having me on. It's a great day to, to be a Democrat in e South Carolina. Exactly. And I have to say we are one hour away from the polls. So let's just get right into it. Yeah. The votes here obviously matter. Big this time. this is a southern state and it's really indicative of all southern states. So let's talk about the votes that really count here. Sure. And that is the millennial generation as well as the African American votes. Let's start with the young people who really have been gear, you know, pushing for Bernie Sanders. That's right. So Bernie Sanders strength is clearly with uh, youth vote, you know, people under 35. He's done really well there. So the big question for his campaign is can they turn out people uh, from from USC at the College of Charleston and a lot of young professionals here in Charleston you know that's what the Sanders campaign is really banking on is trying to look at those voters and can they push them out to the polls on a Saturday and the African-American vote is extremely important here because they make up a majority of the Democrats especially in Charleston Hillary Clinton has Jim Clyburn, who right. is a huge political figure, African-American figure here in South Carolina. But then Bernie Sanders also has local folks here, the Walter Scott attorney, That's right. uh, Justin Bamberg. That's right. And then also Wendell Gilliard. Yeah, so I think one of the things that, that's clear is that the African American community isn't a monolithic group. You know, they're going to split their votes differently, but Hillary Clinton has a, a commanding lead within the African American community. And so I think what you're going to see today is if there's high turnout amongst African Americans, Hillary Clinton is going to do very well in South Carolina. And so I think it's important, too, that South Carolina is one of these early states that goes before Super Tuesday. We're a really diverse state, and that's a great thing. It means that, uh, you you know, Iowa and New Hampshire aren't really indicative of what America looks like. South Carolina is, and so that's really exciting to have us be an early state. And Hillary Clinton's going to try and show her strength of how she does amongst Latinos, amongst African Americans uh, here in South Carolina. Do you think, let's just give a scenario here, folks. Sure, sure. If Hillary does pull out the win here in South Carolina, do you think this will hurt Bernie Sanders in the long run? or? Sure. So I think one of the things we have to keep in mind is on Tuesday uh, is Super Tuesday, and, and there's tons of states and several hundred delegates up for, for grabs. So I think, you know, Hillary Clinton's looking to gain some more momentum. She had a, a win in Nevada. If she can have a commanding win here, that's really going to boost her going into Super Tuesday. So on the reverse side, you know, Senator Sanders needs to have a good showing here today to, to try and uh, stop some of her momentum going into Super Tuesday. So South Carolina is a critical state. It, it always has been. But for Democrats in particular, this is a big day and, and sort of uh, make or break for both of them. In Nevada, we saw such a close race between Hillary and Bernie. That's right. If that happens here, do you think that's what we'll see in the Super Tuesday in Texas? Because this seems to be the struggle between both of them is that close race. Exactly. So I think, you know, what we're what we're going to see today is Hillary Clinton's uh, probably looking to, to pull out a, a commanding lead. You know, she wants to, to have a win that's in the double digits or, or higher. Um, I think, you know, the Sanders campaign is, is looking to, um, you know, mute some of that and see how close they can get it. Um, I think if it's a close race, that's going to be trouble for the Clinton campaign moving into Super Tuesday. If it's a commanding lead, that's a really good thing for her uh, looking to just a few days ahead. Now, Charleston County and Richland County, which is in Columbia, which is Columbia. Exactly. Um, those are the Democratic counties here yep. in that are well known for the Democratic counties here in South Carolina. Sure. So. What do you think we'll see in both those counties? You think Hillary is going to pull out in both those counties? I think Hillary will, will do well. I think um, Charleston and Richland will, will be pretty evenly split. Um, both of them have uh, large amounts of African-American voters, but also lots of uh, youth voters. So I think um, both of those counties are going to be really indicative. They were the only two counties in South Carolina that didn't vote for Trump. Uh, in the Republican primary, and so I think it shows those are definitely unique counties, and Charleston and Richland will be the counties to watch tonight statewide. All right, and what are you, uh, you know, tomorrow, or going into Super Tuesday, Yeah. you know, that momentum who carries here, will you will think that transcends into... I do. I think whoever wins tonight is going to have a lot of, of momentum. And then also, it allows them to go fundraise. For the next three days, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who are voting on Tuesday that are, are watching, and that's going to uh, matter a lot to them. So I think tonight's uh, win is going to be really important. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Brady. Absolutely. We have, appreciate you having me on. Of course. All right, everyone, stay with us. We will be right back with more Democratic primary coverage.